Wait, not that camera shot. Oh, Ooh. there we go. Blink versus Chaotic. Now, of course, guys, Chaotic. 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 Using Greninja. Mm -hmm. Blink has a pretty impressive Fox. Mm -hmm. Both of these ca characters have amazing combo potential. Pretty good recovery. And... I don't know. I feel like they're just all types of it. They're just exciting to watch. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's that's kind of what you can expect. Now, considering his character like Fox here, fantastic neutral game, and kind of has three ones to really play off of. But the one that's really relevant here is the fact that he covers distance so quickly and really can force opposites upon his opponent. Oh, indeed. You know, he ha with his da just his ground speed is really amazing. The dash attack if an opponent whips something from afar, allowing him to pop them up and then combo into possibly up tilts oh. if they're at low enough percents. Now he's moving in here. He's trying to get, uh, up keep that position. And right now, Chaotix is doing a great job trying to hold center stage. Um, but wow, just like this, Link is trying to fight back. Unfortunately, it's really going back and forth right now. And right here, one thing I, I was mentioning before when I saw Chaotic facing off against uh, Space Animal, he needs to be punishing those uh, the side Bs. You know, you can't let the uh, at Space Animal side B on the stage for free. You have numerous. Oh my gosh! Great up smash, the fatality, taking the first stock. That's how you do it. Efficiency. And you're absolutely right, D1. Nothing should come for free, especially those recoveries back onto the stage. That is correct. And here we go. Oh, back to hit it. Okay, there it is. You can use those jab, uh, double jab setups. Maybe get a little bit extra if you can get them at the early percentages. Use the knockback from that second jab. Uh, use that hit stun, rather, and keep it going. Chain them up a little bit. Oh, now. indeed. Now, another thing I'd like to see from both of these players is not committing fully to their uh, jabs, you know, the, the the rapid jabs, that is. Right. You know, Greninja has the three-piece, and Fox has the double jabs, which you can chain into more double jabs, yes. or even an up tilt, which is sick. Oh, there's that bear pushing him out. He's trying to hold that position. Good stuff. Chuck in the shore. You can there you go. And you could see Blink was trying to go in for the double jab, which I also forgot to mention. You can chain an up smash or a grab afterwards, too. Oh. Opportunity? You saw that he was he just wanted to do it for a second, then he just backed away. He didn't have the guts to commit right there. Excellent stuff getting the grab and just letting him drop. Fantastic. Wow. Very unfortunate stuff there for Blink. I was expecting a double jump, but right. you know what? Maybe he was expecting chaotic to run off stage and get him with a back air stage spike. Yeah. You know, whenever you try to run towards the edge and you get a grab and you slide towards the edge, as right. you pummel, your opponent falls out of the grab. You know, you grab release yes. and then you could just run off and Probably catch him with that up air that Greninja has yes. to drag him down or the back air. So I understand what Blink was trying to do there to avoid the offstage setup, but it was unfortunate that he has D. And if y'all want to try it out yourselves, make sure you try to use Captain Falcon to do it. It gets a little bit more obvious with that character. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, guys. Uh, already opening up with the rapid jabs. Both of those characters were almost at the same exact percent. Chaotic. Nice combos right there. And, oh. and covering the landings really well. Oh, punish him! There it is, getting the pit stage advantage right now, looking to see what he can make happen. Now, what are some things to look out for Greninja? What are his best killing options right now? Alright, so Greninja's best killing options, of course, his forward smash has great knockback and it comes out insanely fast. You just have to, he, if your opponent basically leaves himself open, after, you know, committing too hard, he can forward smash them. His up smash, you know, he can get that off of a down tilt when they're at kill percents. Down tilt, having four frames start up. If the, a person does something unsafe on your shield, just down tilt them, pop them up. You can run underneath for an up smash or even six stuff. Or uh, better yet, Greninja can also down tilt into an aerial like a fair. So, you know, Greninja has a lot of great tools. Even an another thing, too, if your opponent's off stage, uh -huh. you can use the Hydro Pump. Ooh. Which can basically like, it has like a win box which can knock the opponent away and it inflicts damage as well, making it harder for opponents to recover back. But right there, it looks like Blink trying his best to see if he can get the reads on this Greninja. And there it is. There's the down tilt. Almost an opportunity for it right there. Trying to see if he can get that set up for that fair. Oh, actually chucked up those water swords. Oh, there's that up smash nice. th that you were going to see Fox use, use so traditionally. And this is carried over throughout the game. Oh, indeed. So. But the difference between this game and maybe a, a quite a few other ones, and for those of y'all who are maybe new to Smash 4, you're not going to see those Shine Spikes in this game. Not it's at all. a lot different in, uh, this time around. Yes, the Shine Spike is definitely nerfed. <laughs> I mean, you could def you could use it with certain characters. Maybe if you're facing against Diddy, you can like hit him out of the up B. Sure. But for the most part, you're not trying to hit opponents with that. And right there, you actually saw the Shadow Sneak, which if you hit up the opponent with the back part, the kick, it has amazing knockback. Like, Greninja has a plethora of KO options in this game. There are so many to name, and he can set them up in numerous different ways. But right here, we can see 
He's just, uh, Chaotix is just trying to keep Blink at the corner, but Cha uh, Blink's rushdown is just pretty good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And Blink is, is, a, is also a traditional fighting game player, too. You know, he comes from that background, um, and he understands that idea of getting in there, rushing him down, and making the opponent feel pressure. Just not necessarily by actually pressing the button, but by having them conditioned and understand that these are my attacking zones, these are the options that I have right here, you should be afraid of them. Yes, and I really like that setup by Blink with the ledge trunk to force Chaotic to recover to the edge and get that down smash right now. He's <laughs> wow. trying to get more damage just so that he can push Greninja to that percentage where he'll be susceptible to an up smash KO. Oh, a little too hungry there. Looking in, the dash attack. Punish him, please. Good stuff. Trying to see if he can get some position right here. Holding center stage. Punishing, not able to punish that uh, that illusionist. Nice. And I, what you can see right here, Blink. Oh, there's the Trump. Oh! oh! One more? Oh! Wow! Chaotic actually got that. Great job. And he gets the 2 0 one Blink. Yeah. I'm very surprised. I wouldn't have expected to sit down directly on some swords. Yeah, yeah wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was very unfortunate there for Blink. He is currently out of the tournament. That was a loser's bracket match, was it? Yes. Yeah.